Hey guys, today's video is about how to create a linked circle illusion in Affinity Designer, as you can see right here. And we're using Affinity Designer version 2 and a new feature shape builder tool for this. And to start we need a new clean document and we need to navigate to the toolbar right here to this shape tool and clicking on this little corner to select the donut tool. And by holding down shift while creating, we give the donut perfect proportions. So a, a circle form instead of a ellipse form and which we can now fill with a good visible color, for example, red for this example. So it's just better visible on this background. And we need now to adjust the thickness as we want it to be, for example, like this. And after that, go to the move tool right here select the move tool, move this donut inside of our document. Um, while with, have, with having snapping activated, we see the lines to find the middle of the document and now clicking command C and command V to duplicate as often as you want to link the circles. For me, it's three times. If you're using Windows, simply use control instead of command. And now we're moving the first one to the middle right here and the second one to the middle right here. And I like the proportion of having both of these rings um, 200 pixels away. So we are holding down shift and left arrow key 10 times to move the left ring um, for 100 pixels to the left and also the right ring for 100 pixels to the right. Again, 10 times shift and arrow key to the right. And that's a proportion I like. Of course, you can use any proportion you want to. The effect is the same. And we now need to color the uh, middle one in a other color, for example, white, so it's better visible. And then also changing the background color for this to have it um, better visible, all of this. And what we now need to do, we need to duplicate this white ring by clicking Command C and Command V again and making it invisible for us to easier um, using the Shape Builder tool. And now we need to select the rest of the donuts. So selecting the first one, holding down Command or Control if you're using Windows, the second one and the third one. Navigating to the left to the Shape Builder tool and simply clicking on Action um, Subtract. So that let's select areas from objects and select this area and this area. Go to the Move tool again. Now we need to de delete this um, curve right here. We just used to um, select the shapes. So we can simply delete this curve. And now we need to make this one visible again and put it underneath the um, donut curve, so have it underneath all of them. And we can now group all of them by holding down shift and selecting the uh, top one and command G to group. Um, instead of command, you can use control G if you're using a Windows PC. And now we have this linked um, circle effect. And to make it even cooler, we can use some quick FX um, outer shadow right here. By selecting the whole group, quick FX outer shadow, I like to use color black, 50% opacity, 50 pixels radius, 50 pixels offset and 315 um, degrees angle. And after that, we can move this cir linked circle illusion. We can scale it as we want it to be. And yeah, that's going to do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye. Thank <laughs> you.